Hey guys, welcome back. Kind of going to be an odd week. We had a double video feature last week, so this one's kind of getting behind, but that's okay. We had a double. Um, what I'm going to try to work on today, kind of see we got some trees sticking out here in the side of this hay field, and this grass area right in the middle of this one, that's where we came from. <clears throat> back in December and we was pulling those trees out with the backhoe so we've got little brush piles and stuff sitting out in the middle of this and we're gonna try to get these dirt mounds picked up you see we've kind of got a dirt mound right in there and along here and there's and we we worked that up that dirt mound up there so we could work this field and get it to drain because it was just pulling water up in that middle of the field over there pretty pretty bad ended up using the moldboard plow and I kind of you know made a, a furrow right in the middle of it so it would at least drain so we could utilize the field um so what we're going to try to do is get the tree piles cleaned up maybe get them in a spot where we could burn them and then take these dirt mounds in here that we shoved up so we could get it to drain and we'll push them up here into that lower area where it likes to hold water it's pretty firm pretty dry right now so hopefully we won't have any rutting problem i brought the tree puller along just in case we've got some trees alongside of the field that we want to yank out this is kind of a different tree puller what most guys have most of them have a, a uh, hydraulic deal I've got a hydraulic thumb on the side for for reaching in pulling little trees or grabbing some roots the main idea of this tree puller is to drive ahead wedge the tree right in the middle of these V blades and as you're driving ahead you can kind of work it up like this and lift the loader up and it, it yanks the tree out and just matter of no time and of course you can see these big hinges here these big plates just open up when you set the loader back down and the tree flops out and away you go pretty god dang handy let's get this thing off here and go see what we can do there's what my little brush piles look like there's an awful lot of dirt in them which of course that's not going to burn so i'm trying to kind of rake through them and pick them apart and separate them over here and then I can take the, uh, the little sticks, little bitty trees, and shove them over into a proper pile that will maybe burn a little easier. This ain't no way that's gonna burn. There's way too much dirt in there. We got a couple more down over here. Not a whole lot of big stuff. I think the biggest one is probably three inches around. Most of them are just little bitty guys. And then we've got these little bitty things like this. I don't know, maybe I should try to use the tree puller and grab some of those there's a few of them over here where i'm this is the the main corner where the the bigger ones were you can see kind of you know this is what it's starting to turn into if you don't take care of them many years ago i think it was 2009 and 10 we had a big you know a couple big floods this whole bottom was underwater and it started um coming through the field here instead of going through the river channel obviously it, it came through here and it cut a pretty big a ditch right in the middle of the fence well there was a fence there at the time but anyway it cut underneath the fence and just made this really nasty low spot which this usually holds water but since I got that channel cut down through over there with the plow now it doesn't uh, it doesn't like to hold water as well but it's still too wet to do anything with and that's part of the problem we just we've got too much low area anyway so I'm just trying to rake through these dirt piles and and kind of get the little sticks out of them that we can burn and then we'll come back through and maybe poke some of these little guys out and then try to burn them they're still pretty wet in there this this dirt's got a lot of moisture in it so we'll have to either get some diesel and put in it too or let them dry another couple weeks i'm i'm kind of liking the diesel idea i'd get them out of here there we go that one's looking a lot better that one had a few bigger ones in it than I thought. That one pretty well cleaned up. I think I'm gonna go uh, maybe start that grass on fire that's down here and let it, the wind's kind of blowing this way. So hopefully that it'll, it'll come on up through here. So I might start this one on fire too, but I'm gonna go on the backside and make sure we don't uh, let it get away from us. I'll probably take the bucket it's kind of, I don't think it could go very far anyway, but I'll just take the bucket and kind of clean this up a little bit so it can't get through here. Yeah. Looking a lot better already. Well, it 
looks like my tree pile is not really wanting to burn. We're going to have to get something a little more flammable in there. Probably some diesel or something. The grass is burning. That's no problem. I mean, you get that grass burnt, you can really see my piles of dirt in here now. So we've got to go through with the skid loader and get this kind of shaped up so we can, you know, we can farm clear through here. This has been kind of a pain for the last, uh, shoot, 10 years anyway. It used to be this whole bottom was in CRP and the borderlands along the river were, uh, what do they call that, the buffer strip. And the CRP came out first. Um, so then we farmed the, the inside and then we incorporated the buffer strip later. But man, with this, uh, this sh dirt pile in the middle of here, it's, it just makes this a pain in the butt. 15, 20 years ago when this was before it was in CRP, this was one nice big bottom when we just we'd farm straight through the whole thing here and that was quite nice and it always yielded pretty well. So uh, obviously with the hay out here, you know, being there's a little bit of a dead growth in there because we didn't do a, thir a second cutting, I guess. We did a cutting after the oats, but we didn't do a next didn't do another cutting. So we've got plenty of growth there that's trying to trying to burn. So I gotta, you know pay attention to that stuff it's trying to creep out of the field but it's not near as bad as you know that grass that's that stuff just went up like nothing burning real well anyway i see we still got a little bit of grass over there or something in the burn pile that's trying to trying to burn but um yeah it's it's not doing real well so we'll have to go get some diesel or something put in it but obviously I can't leave now with, with a fire going, so I'm gonna keep an eye on it until, until at least this here gets most of the way around the corner there when it hits the stuff that we've, you know, kind of cleared over there pretty pretty heavy over there because that was real heavy with trees. So once it gets over there, then we can go get some diesel. Well, maybe I don't need to get diesel. It's doing better than I thought it was. I'll bring the skid loader down here and just shove into this a little bit and kind of tighten it up that's actually going pretty well <sighs> there'll be lots of this picking up by hand well doggone it looks like the tree pile didn't burn worth a darn <sighs> we washed it for a little bit there that night and put some diesel on it and it just never did really did take off and go i mean it looks like it kind of burnt but there's a pretty good mess of it back here but it just didn't want to go worth a darn well that stinks anyway look at our nice little water area low area whatever right here this turned out pretty decent i think pretty hard to tell whether it's going to drain or not i don't have that good of an eye for for uh elevation and grade but i think it'll go well, it looks decent anyway kind of going downhill as we walk here no it's not perfect there's it's still pretty bumpy but Right over here is that hill that uh, when I had them seed a few years ago, they ran out of seed and didn't bother telling me. So we're going to redo this half of the hillside. So I figured, well, shit, we'll just bring the disc down here and smooth this off good once and seed it and harrow it. And that'll pretty well smooth her up, I hope. We should be good there. Yeah. I think it'll work. Did a little tree pushing on the edges while I was out here with the tree puller. Went clear around the whole thing down here. And there wasn't too much along this side because those are pretty big trees. Other than a few had fallen out into the field to shove those off. A bunch of little ones down there in that point. That goes down and makes a, a boot figuration. Cleared all the little guys off the edge of the field. Oh man. And now we'll run up here on that hillside. 
show you guys that big stump pile. Gotta get those stumps cleaned up too while we got the machines up here. Well, you can see I kind of started cleaning the stumps up in here. It's a big tree pile from about 12 years ago. This whole draw and everything was clear full of trees. And about, oh, right through here, there was a terrace that kind of came down and went around, kind of went around this field, kind of, you know, I don't know why it was really here what they were farming this before, but it just didn't work out right and it was full of trees. And then this ditch down here was a pretty big, you know, pretty big gully. So we cleared all the trees out, smoothed the ditch up, trying to keep the dirt. So anyway, we got to get these, got to get this mess cleaned up. I'm just tired of looking at it. It's, it's just a pain in the ass. You see, I started getting some of them kind of tore out of the mess of dirt and pile. And there's some trees growing in the middle of it, you can see there. So I'm not sure if that stuff will burn. It's it's pretty well rotted. I don't know if it will. We're gonna try, try to burn it some more. I got a few more over here yet to get yanked out, get shoved over in there. And then we can kind of sift through the, the roughage down here of all this dirt and rotten stuff, see if there's any more logs in there. There's a lot of little stuff that needs to be pitched out yet. That tree puller works pretty well for rooting through there. I just kind of just stick the tree puller down in the mess and just kind of go forward until we hit something and that works pretty well rather than you know trying to grapple through it with a, a big log grapple or you know go to the dirt bucket you know the hell you just scoop up the dirt where that tree puller just sticks down in there and works pretty good for that <coughs> that's kind of what I've been working on the last couple days we ended up getting about three quarters of an inch of rain that night we was over here Trying to get that shit to burn. It was good to have some rain, but it still is not enough. We're still in a mild drought. We're in about the least affected area of the, of the state of Iowa. Kind of, kind of worse, kind of north and east of us by quite a bit. But nothing I can do about it. Just gotta plan for the weather and go. Uh, anyway, so what are we gonna do today? Uh, well, I've got to get some, get some stuff kind of arranged around. Cameron and I, being he's on spring break now from school, we're planning on going down to Oklahoma and spend a couple days down there at a friend's house. He's got some hogs in the back of his property, and what the heck, we're planning on going down to shoot some of them. So, it'll be a nice little vacation for us before we get hammering out for the year. Hopefully we can get a couple hogs, and if we see some coyotes or something, we'll we're gonna shoot them too. So I gotta kind of get some stuff arranged here. I got a one, got a load of logs. I'm supposed to haul for a friend tomorrow, and then uh, the next day we're gonna head out and go down to Oklahoma. So anyway, that's the plan. So uh, hopefully we'll get some footage of hog hunting down there, and I'll show you guys what that's all about. And he's got a. He's got a great big chicken barn. I guess it's not the it's not the great big one, but it is pretty good size. I think he's got well last I heard he had like seven thousand chickens in there. He had lost quite a few to to uh, overheating last year, but I think he's got it figured out now. He put a little better roof in and and uh, can keep the heat down in there. It just gets awful hot down there in the summertime. But uh, yeah, that's the plan. Let me know guys what you guys got going on this spring. If you got any tree piles you're trying to clean up, some properties you're cleaning up, or kind of do some reseeding. Let me know what your haze, haze or hay grounds are doing. They're kind of not doing so well or having trouble getting the seed like we are. Anyway, don't forget guys, hit that subscribe button, give me a good thumbs up, hit the notification bell. So you and your friends know when you are got a new video of me ready to, ready to watch. Well, appreciate you guys watching. Till the next video, guys. Catch you later.